These are the scariest tourist attractions in the world. Visit if you dare. Ever wanted to lean off the edge of New York's tallest skyscrapers? At 1,100 feet above the ground, thrill seekers can strap in and lean over the sheer drop to the busy streets below. Or maybe you still want to see the New York cityscape, but need a little something extra between you and the ground. If you're not afraid of heights and trust the strength of Perspex, this could be the attraction for you. This 72-foot cliff swing in China is a lot of fun. Until you look down, that is. You get to experience near weightlessness as you swing out over snow-capped mountains with a sheer drop below. No wonder you have to be strapped in. Southwest China's Sky Park features a walkway that has a few too many gaps for comfort. Luckily, there's a harness and safety rope attached, or one wrong step could mean the end. They say once you learn how to ride a bike, you'll never forget. I wonder if it's the same for Sky Bikes, a toe curling adventure in Mexico that lets riders cycle along a zip line while enjoying the magnificent views below. The Crocosaurus Cove in Northern Australia gives visitors a unique way to get up close and personal with a massive crocodile. Luckily, Perspex isn't in their diet. Busted. This street market in Thailand is built over train tracks, so whenever the train comes through, everyone has just seconds to get out of the way. Russia's Sochi Sky Park is a bungee jumper's paradise. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Jump, flip, fall, or be tossed off this 680-foot platform. Just make sure the bungee's secured first. There's a reason they call this swimming spot the Devil's Pool. Locating just feet from the edge of Zambia's Victoria Falls is a region of slow-moving water that's surprisingly calm. This is no leisurely swim. One wrong step, and you're going over. Everyone knows there's nothing better than having a meal with a view. But well, this restaurant took that quite literally and now offers high-altitude meals for those with a strong stomach. Located deep in the jungles of Portugal, this spectacular phenomenon looks like the entrance to the center of the Earth. It's almost impossible to look away. Although I'm not sure I'd be swimming so close to the edge. Huh? Most normal people take an elevator when going down floors in high-rise buildings, but in this Dubai skyscraper, you can take the glass slide from the 53rd floor. With just a thin sheet of glass between you and a 720-foot drop to the ground below, it'll definitely have your heart pounding for hours after. The Trift Bridge is one of the longest suspension bridges in the Swiss Alps. While it's apparently safe, maybe leave your elephant at home. Next time you're in China's Guangdong province, make sure you check out Buddha's Hand, a massive statue that looks out over the Gulong Canyon. There's no handrails just yet, only safety nets below if things get out of hand. The Flying Kiss Ride in China consists of two giant statues that bend and lean towards each other to share a kiss. Well, the only problem with this thrill ride is that there's no safety harnesses, no seatbelts, nothing apart from a flimsy, waist-high fence to stop you from tumbling over the edge. Swings are for kids, right? Well, this swing over the Dolomite Mountains in Italy is enough to put anyone back in diapers. That scream really says it all. <laughs> Located in the outer deserts of Turkmenistan lies the Darvaza Gas Crater, otherwise known as the Doorway to Heck. This 100-foot deep hollow has been continuously burning for over 50 years, with temperatures reaching upwards of 1,000 degrees Celsius. This is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. Carved into the side of a Chinese mountain, drivers have a 2,600-foot drop on one side. It's one lane for most of the trip, making overtaking a bit of a challenge. Exercise bikes are getting really weird. This flying bike attraction in Germany allows riders to cycle a full loop when they build up enough speed. Cycle too fast, and someone's getting dizzy. Built for the extreme adventurer, sometimes you get tired halfway up a mountain and just need a quick power nap. If you have the stamina for this kind of shut eye, there are ways to ensure a safe sleep suspended halfway to the clouds. Here's a way to truly test your nerves. The Tilt is Chicago's premier acrophobic attraction, allowing adrenaline junkies to literally lean out from the 94th floor of the John Hancock building, a terrifying 1,030 feet above the ground. What do you get when you cross a medieval catapult with base jumping? An experience that's not for the faint-hearted. That's what. It's all fun and games as long as you remember to pull your chute. I'm flying! I'm flying! This giant swing in China has got to be the biggest and most terrifying swing in the world. Riders with nerves of steel strap up and swing through rainbow arches to a 2,200-foot drop in the gorge below. 
Spanning 140 feet and connecting two peaks of the Donnerkogel mountain in Austria, this precarious steel sky ladder has earned its nickname of the stairway to heaven. And it's not for the faint-hearted. A couple of cables is all that stands between you and a 2,296-foot drop into the gorge below. For the truly brave, the Skywalk in Bangkok will test the nerves of everyone who claims they're not afraid of heights. Step out 1,030 feet above the Thai capital and just pray the reinforced glass beneath your feet can hold your weight. This is a pool with a view. The edge of Bali not only has glass walls that look out over a sheer cliff face, but it's also got a glass-bottomed floor for that surreal flying sensation. You'll feel like you're swimming in the sky. Awesome. Fancy a drive across the ocean? Finland's Road 622 is one of the most dangerous roads in the world, as a long section of it sits below sea level. Trapdoors aren't just for evil geniuses. It turns out it's a great way to get two people to bungee jump at once. I don't know what's scarier, Why? the fall itself or the countdown right before the floor opens up. This is the world's biggest human catapult. Imagine the rush of being flung across New Zealand's Nevis Valley, reaching an eye-watering 60 miles per hour in just one and a half seconds. It's over before you know it, but it's an experience you'll probably never forget. This is what it looks like when you're too scared to jump from a 154-foot high platform on your own. It's the Sky Park Sentosa on Singapore's Soloso Beach. And if you're too afraid to look down, the friendly staff are more than happy to throw you. No waves? No problems. In the coastal sand dunes of Brazil's Jericho Acora, they've constructed temporary water slides perfect for bodyboarding. With enough speed, you'll skim the water below just like a real surfer. <laughs> this has to be the most chaotic beach in the world. Whoever decided to put a runway right next to Maho Beach didn't think about how unnerving it was going to be to everyone swimming below. There's regular tubing, and then there's the extreme. Built from the unused Olympic ski jumps in Salt Lake City, Utah, this adventure park has transformed the hill into a high-speed tubing adventure. With speeds topping 50 miles an hour, this is no leisurely ride. This swinging bridge in China is the ultimate test of balance and agility. While some people try to sway into the bridge's wild swings, others run from side to side to stay upright. Get your timing or balance wrong, however, and you're going swimming. Look, Mom, go ahead. If you love tobogganing and just can't wait for summer, this bobsled ride in Romania is the next best thing. You've got a handbrake you can use at any time, but why would you? The ultimate troll bridge has to be this one in China, where sections of glass are replaced with HD screens that crack when being walked on. Add in the cracking sound effects and you have the ultimate prank. Gotcha. Add this Ferris wheel slash giant swing ride to the growing list of attractions I'm too scared to go on. The best water parks of the world feature a slip and fly, and trust me, it's something you're not going to want to miss. Gain enough speed down the jump before diving into the water below. It's all about that aerial finesse. Time your somersault wrong, however, you're going to wish you stayed in the kiddie pool. When I say Rainbow Road, most people have flashbacks to the worst map in Mario Kart. Thankfully, when it comes to the real version in El Salvador, there's no risk of falling off. It's the most colorful slide in the world. Technically, this is still a water slide, although very frozen. This snow slide in Russia is the perfect way down the icy mountain. When the warning sign on this ride said, you may get wet, they really weren't kidding around. 